I've been playing mandolin since I was 11, and I'm 19 now, so about eight years. I started taking lessons from Alan Sibley when I was 11 years old. And then I, a year later, I started taking guitar lessons. And then six months later, I started taking banjo lessons, and then it was all over from there. Yeah, I love to play the mandolin. I love to play the guitar. It just depends. But most of the time, it's the banjo. I play with a band called Williamson Branch, and they're based out of Nashville. They're a family band in Nashville, but it's, it's not your ordinary family band. You know, it's not it's not a bunch of kids that can you know barely sing. No, Mindy May went into town. There's winter days, no longer. Not saying anything bad about family bands, but there's a certain stereotype that comes with family bands, you know. They're a really high energy and they just, just really tight, you know, family band. Yeah. That's what we do for a living, so we travel all the time. And the prettiest tree of the night. I love the way it looks. Um, it's got a real traditional looking sunburst. And uh, I really like the way it looks without the binding. You know, it's almost the, the mandolins with binding almost seem kind of sharp around the edges, and this is really kind of beveled, and it looks really nice. And it's just a beautiful instrument, and its its tone is, you know, just as good as any that I've ever ever come across. <laughs> I think that it is really good for really slow stuff. Um, it, it responds really well in E and F. F. So I think slow music, you know. fast stuff and it does really well it's just lightning fast really good action and it's got that really really nice deep wooded shot like you'd want in a good mandolin and i think a lot of mandolin builders or even a lot of mandolin companies don't get that in their mandolins and Weber did a really good job well there's there's something that i like to use that's really cool it's something that jesse Mitt reynolds kind of started doing is this split string technique where you fret it here, perhaps, and then use your fingernail to fret it on the fifth fifth fret, and you get two notes out of the string at a time. So I'll you know, make a G chord, and I'll do that split string technique, you know. Stuff, stuff like that, and it's really cool stuff, you know. I can't take credit for for uh, discovering that, but I like to use it a lot.